when COVID-19 pandemic first broke out, it took the world by storm and in an unprecedented manner. My fellow Kenyans, on Friday, March 6th of this year, the government of Kenya received confirmation of the first case of COVID-19, more commonly known as coronavirus. The world global supply chain was disrupted, leaving manufacturers who are used to seamless flow of raw materials and stable market to wander in uncharted waters. COVID-19 uh, initially was a bit of a shock. Um, we lost about 70% of our business, uh, existing business, in the month of March. Uh, but I must say, I think we were prepared for it. We needed to comply with the social distancing, uh, so we had to reduce our workforce with almost more than half. Then the other thing also, we had also to reduce our operations to almost half, so our machine efficiency, uh, our cost of production has gone high because we have not been able to optimize our production. The world of essential medical supplies was not spared either. COVID is primarily a disease that affects the respiratory system and therefore we've had to deal with it as a health challenge and to ensure that we minimize the spread of the virus around the country and around the world. Measures uh, for dealing with COVID have had impact on many other sectors as well. So you need to increase social distancing so that people don't pass it to each other. That has implications in how we organize workplaces, that has implications on travel, and therefore has had great implications on many other sectors. I mean, nobody has been spared by COVID. A lot of our exports, especially of apparel, uh, were affected. But I, I, I noted from talking to our, I mean, our exporters that that has now picked up. As a ministry, we have provided the necessary guidelines for the conduct uh, of business. The ministry has always been very keen and has been at the forefront of ensuring that we don't have complete business shutdown. We've worked very hard with our colleagues in the Ministry of Health to ensure that there are protocols for business continuity. The Kenyan business community has spent time and taken and really risen up uh, to the task to produce necessary uh, medical commodities that used to be imported. Personal protective equipment, masks uh, and ventilators and all these products have been previously imported but I'm actually quite glad to note that in the space of two weeks the Kenyan business community had adjusted themselves to be able to supply these goods and currently we you know we enjoy goods that are made uh, made, made in Kenya. E-commerce and digital trade have really taken off. We have latent capacity uh, within our sector for you know for reimagining our businesses and uh, for innovation. And my message to the SMEs is this that government has always been available and will continue being available uh, to support you. Our manufacturers responded by looking at it and saying what can we do and fill the gap and as we stand indeed we are now exporting PPEs and face masks things like sanitizers and the rest we did it here locally uh, we, we are very very far in uh, towards developing uh, the ventilators and as we speak today the one by Kenyatta University has already been certified by Kenya Video Standard in fact, it's just awaiting final test by the Ministry of Health so that it can be released to go to the market. All universities around the world have a mandate to solve problems that inflict their societies. As we are talking today, we are very proud that Kenyatta University was able to uh, produce this ventilator and a swab. We have uh, certificates and approval from CAPS, Kenya Bureau of Standards, we have approval from um, the Kenyatta University Ethical Review Committee to produce this uh, uh, equipment. 
and we are still waiting for clinical trials at Kenyatta University uh, uh, Research and Referral Hospital. We have Kenya Institute of Research, uh, Kenya Industry Research and uh, Development Institute, KILDI, uh, which has been supporting innovators and incubating them when they have innovation and they want to do something, we have been sitting there. The, for those who have invented, we have assisted them in uh, registering their patents through KIPI. Uh, KEBS, Kenya Bureau of Standard, has come in hardy to give them standard standardization mark so that their product can uh, assess the market. For instance, the PPEs and uh, the people doing the PPEs and the face marks, the standardization, for them to get those standardization marks, it has been free of charge. We have not been, the KEBS has not been charging anything. To mitigate against the effects of COVID-19, the government challenged manufacturers to stand up to the occasion and begin producing locally essential medical supplies. The response was surprising as much as it was overwhelming. COVID-19, we have been involved in supply of medical gases and medical air and other gases to hospitals. We've also entered into a new area of medical articulation in county hospitals and national hospitals. We've, we've done a lot more work in that area. We've also been available to advise hospitals and, and counties and other mission hospitals on what is the best solution for, for making available oxygen. The country saw mass production of face masks and personal protective equipment for medics and the general population. This was done from communities to large factories. We have clients from uh, KEMSA. We have clients from uh, referral hospitals. Uh, that means we have KNH. We have Kenya, Kenyatta University Referral Hospital, MTRH here, more teaching a referral hospital, and uh, some five, the level five hospitals across the country. We have been able to serve them with the protective gears, ports, surgical, and uh, reusable masks for the people working in, within the hospital precinct. They came in form of basic hygiene products, sanitizers, and disinfectants. The country experienced a renaissance of innovations, ranging from high dependent unit hospital beds, hand washing stations, ventilators, and for the first time also, the country began local production of thermoguns. When COVID came, I wanted to buy a thermometer. I went to town and I bought the thermometer for 22,000. When I opened it, I saw that the components that are inside, they will not cost me more than 1,000. So I said, something has to, uh, has to be done. And if it's not us, then who else will be able to do that? So I brought the team together, we started working on it. Within a month, we had a complete product and we pushed it to the market for 5,000. Above all, the manufacturing sector ensured that basic supplies continued to reach the public. Kenyans are smart. Given an opportunity, Kenyans can innovate Kenyans can create, Kenyans are able and capable of producing goods for their own use. Let us buy Kenya and build Kenya. And we need to start uh, giving life to our industry and to, uh, preserve our jobs because everybody out there is talking about jobs, jobs and jobs, whether it's the US, European Union, UK, Japan, China, India, they're all, all talking about how do we preserve jobs because it's a global pandemic, it's had global ramifications on jobs. And I think we also need to start thinking that we need to manufacture locally, we need to ensure our jobs retain locally, and we need to make sure that we keep our head above water. COVID-19 crisis will be with us for, for, for a while, um, and we are at the phase of flattening the curve. We'll get to the phase where we'll be fighting for the survival of the economy and move to the future of, 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 of what the country will then look, look like. The other important thing that has come out during COVID is the issue of technology and the fact that the fourth industrial revolution is here with us. Uh, so issues around the internet of things, 3D printing, incorporation of technology in, in, into the manufacturing sector and also into our supply chains. We have seen e-commerce take a front line uh, during this period. Even as we have had to shut down as some parts of our economy because of the COVID-19 pandemic, the manufacturing sector 
has continued to ensure that essential goods are supplied. We have rediscovered ourselves as a country and the role of the ministry is to maintain that momentum and repurpose industry and local production to achieve that going forward.